It's Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart. You haven't seen me for a while because I've been trying to figure out an overhead camera situation so that you could see what I was doing from the right side up. And basically I could fill a blooper reel with the ways that has gone sideways. And the net result is that there's no videos. So uh, in addition to that, I've been feeling a little bit lost and um, so today I'm here to show you what to do when you feel lost and you're gonna <laughs> help me find my way because I feel lost. So I got this email uh, from Martha Beck. It's been a couple days, but the net net is not knowing is a positive thing. It opens the attention aperture and allows you to bring in new knowledge new experience. It allows you to tap in more specifically to the truth you feel inside you. And if we want to create authentically and genuinely and powerfully, we really need to tune into the truth inside ourselves. So today I'm just going to splash around a little bit and play and find my way back to some expression um, this will start as an abstract and it'll probably end up as a bird. If you want to see the net result, the final result, you can go to Paint by Heart on Facebook and find me there or Chakra Mandalas on Instagram. And yes, I realize that that's a split identity, but we are where we are. Okay, let's paint. Let's play. There we go. So I've already gessoed, I've got a 12 by 12 panel here, I've already gessoed it. I really like the Grumbacher gesso. It's got a little more a tooth, a little more marble dust in it. I'm going to also attempt to figure out how to provide a link for you so you can see where to get that. I've got random stencils here. I've got my um, high flow um, golden acrylics, carbon black, Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold, Thalo Blue Green Shade, and then I've just got a straight up fluid acrylic in the green gold. Um, these are super fun. And I've also got a little bit of charcoal here. I've got my liner brush, um, charcoal catalyst scrapers, and let's go. I'm going to just wet the, wet the um, canvas um, erratically and then I'm going to throw a little black, carbon black high flow at this and um, a little bit of the Quinn Gold. Oh, that was a little more than I thought. And we will just move this around and see what happens. Oops, can you still see? Okay. Uh, let's have the paper towels handy. This is super cool right here. I don't know if you can see it. A little spot in there. Um, okay, let's use a little brush work here. Just gonna grab one of my brushes and move the paint around. Already interrupted part of what I loved, but it's doing something else fun. So mainly right now, I just wanna get the white um, covered for the most part and get a base for the painting that is interesting and suggests what way I should go next. All right, that's a good place to assess for a minute. Um, I think I want to add some moisture around the side and introduce some of the um, phthalo blue. This is already kind of interesting. Um, I don't want to do too much and muck it up. 
Um, so let's just add a little, oh God, that's so pretty. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what keeps me out of the studio when stuff like that could be so fun. Um, let's see, let's play with the liner brush a little bit. So we'll just connect, give this a path for traveling. Um, no need to know what you're doing at this point. Uh, thank heaven. <laughs> I guess I don't. All right. Uh, we could be a little more courageous, just. All right. So, already some fun things happening. Um, there's definitely opportunity for more connection. It's feeling a bit fragmented, which is going to be autobiographical for me right now. And if I get it too wet, then I won't be able to uh, do anything else to it while you're watching. Um, so let's just I'm gonna throw a little bit of white the fluid acrylics white on here. Actually I wanna um, water that down a little bit. I'm putting it in a little medicine cup. I'm gonna spray a little water in there to juice it up and then just sort of pour it in there and see what that does. Let that move around. Okay, I still don't have the connection that I was kind of talking about, and it's a little bit premature to, um, or at least it would be premature to me if I thought I knew what I was doing to lay a stencil on it, but and spray it, but what the heck. Let's just um, drop that on and see what happens. Um, this uh, stencil is from Joggles. I will again attempt to direct you. <laughs> and this is D Distress Oxide Spray. Um, so let's just see what happens if we add that. Okay, I'm liking that. Um, in addition, uh, I can do a little bit of um, paper towel to uh, remove some of this moisture here. And then we'll pull up the stencil. Actually, I just heard in my head that I want to add a little bit of the uh, Marabou Art Spray of the Mocha, because this will bring me the connection, little connection that I'm longing for. Um, let me move these out of the way. There we go. That's cool. I love this effect here. I don't know why it does that, but um, I love it. All right, so... We'll pull the stencil off and see where we are for now. Okay, so um, it's a little hectic, but I think I can make a fabulous painting out of this. And at least I've uh, gotten started, um, gotten past my block a little bit, and I want to thank you for helping me do that. Um, if you want to see how this turns out, I. I, uh, I solemnly vow to finish it in one way or another. It might not look anything like this when it gets done. Uh, my plan, my current plan is a bird. So uh, anyway, um, thanks for watching. 
and see you soon. It's Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart. Bye. Thanks. Get out there and paint now.